it's for me. Anybody want to hear a true story? Yes. Girls can do it. I actually have a Russian dog. By that I don't mean you open him up and there's a smaller dog inside, and you then open that up and find an even smaller dog, although that is a delicacy. In southern China. So, uh... So I'm British. Uh, I've lived in Hong Kong since I was a little boy, hence the boarding school aspect of my upbringing. And, um, you know, it's funny, because having lived here that length of time, when people ask me why I came to China, uh, I say, I didn't. Uh, I stayed still, and China came to me. <laughs> Over that period, it's gone from being the last place we'll ever give up to just being the last place we gave up. Hey Chris, I'm at takeout tonight on the show. Do you want to get a beer after at Club 7? So I met this Shanghai girl. I thought, <clears throat> fuck man, way to impress uh, a chick. Mm. You know, fucking take her to the opera, right? Mm. La 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 la. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> you know, would you like to go? Yeah, so I know. Would love to. The fact that I fell asleep <laughs> cheering it um, was not great. The thing is, she was from California, right? And like Californian girls will like use the word like like, like way more than is really like necessary. <laughs> Which led to confusion. Um, she said to me one day, Neg, I like love you. And I said, well, which? Uh, I gave her a bottle of Jack Daniels for her birthday because I'd heard her say that she drank like a fish. Turns out she was talking about some scuba diving accident. But have you ever done or ever exposed yourself that way? Like in, in your, when you do stand up or anything? Like, are you like, okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it here. I'm gonna let people know some stuff that I don't really wanna talk about. But, right. but for you, like, you don't, you can't, like. Because you know, it was interesting what you said earlier about people don't, like, I, have, I open up, you just, you just said, I open mm. up, but people don't know that I'm opening up. Right, because mm. you're this array of crazy characters in right. your improv. Right. So, like, no one knows. You know. They're like, this actually might be kind of true. Right. But not, nobody knows. But, but not like, totally. He's such a brilliant actor to talk about his dysfunctional family. No, that's true. <laughs> real name. My real name is not Nicholas, okay? Do not make that mistake. My name is Nick, and it's been Nick ever since in French. Somebody put up their hand and said, Sir, sir, Nicholas is tired. And the teacher said, No, no, no. Nicolas est fatigué. Répétez. <laughs> That I remember being in the taxi and we were just going up that flyover by the police headquarters and we were talking about me going to boarding school. And I said, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I want to stay here. I'd already, I had two years at a primary school here. And my mum said, uh, Nick, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go, mm -hmm. right? And in my childhood like memory reel, the next memory is being at boarding school and never changing my opinion and never saying I wanted to go. What happened next was the whole class said, Nicola, a fatty gay. So, uh, <laughs> it's the, uh, yes. I never slept alone, and that was one of the advantages. And subsequently, like as, adult, as an adult, and my dad passed away uh, 10, 10, fuck, 95, 20, 19 years ago. Mm. Uh, my, but my mum said, after he died, or maybe even before, because he was a hopeless alcoholic. Mm. <laughs> Might have rubbed off a bit. <laughs> um, and my mum said, the thing was, I, I wanted you to go to boarding school because I was, I was worried about you, you know, growing up in the, being here, mm. you know, 365 days a year, with dad being such a hopeless alcoholic. Mm. And, uh, and that made sense, and that sort of made it better, you know, it sort of took, it was like, okay, well, there was other, it wasn't just, because at the time, it just feels like, why, mm. why are you sending me away, you know? Right. And, 
Oh, so dude. I haven't polished that yet. Dude. Bring it in. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Jesus. No, that's good, man. But I never use that. Uh, when I went to a, to a parent's house, um, just before we tucked into the, the lovely roast and all the lovely veggies and cranberry sauce, um, she said to me, Nick, my dad was wondering if you knew the words to like a prayer. So I said, life is a mystery. <laughs> Everyone must stand alone. So you're going to the opera. So we're going to the opera. I, mm. pretend, I pretended I was asleep. Sorry, the story's not working. I can't pull off the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, that's totally, that's taking a crap on the stage right there. We're not on the stage, dude, we're on the screen. Well, we're, we're in front of the camera. It's kind of like, it's Yeah, on, but it's this a is a documentary. Of... This is not a feature film. No, but this is the part where, like, it's breaking the wall. You just told everyone that you're working on something and then it fell apart. I don't know. Well, it's all true apart from the fact that I, pretending that I deliberately fell asleep. Hello, fatty. Gay. Talking of Russia, uh, I have a Russian dog. By that, I don't mean that when you open him up, there's a smaller dog inside. You open that up, there's a smaller <laughs> dog inside that. 